Hi, I'm Rob. I've been farming here for 10 years and I grow organic grain for Kyala Pure Foods. Basically came from the cotton industry, funnily enough, and, and fell into organics. About 10 years ago, a bloke approached me about share farming some organic country and sort of haven't really looked back. Nowadays, organic farmers actually wear shoes and stuff. We're not, you know, 30 years ago living in the hills. It's actually a proper industry. A lot of the organic farmers are actually at the pointy end of the farming industry. They're right up there with the conventional guys as far as technology and research and stuff go. People can't get their head around not using herbicide. Um, 30 years ago, no one used it. So there's, it's nothing new. It's just nowadays it's a, it's a band-aid solution to their weed problems. 30 years later, they're starting to get resistance. So, you know, weeds are the main issue and then the fertility comes after that. But the conventional industry have actually worked out that most organic practices are probably the way to go with fertility anyway. A good conventional farmer will make a good organic farmer. They're quite parallel really. You've just got to probably plan ahead a bit more with organics than, than the conventional side of it. It is character building. Um, it has its moments, but it's definitely the rewards pay off for the, for the work. Farming has a fairly gloomy future, but People will work out one day that's where food comes from and it'll come good. And look, there's, there's definitely a, a place for organics in it. I think our biggest problem at the moment is not enough of it. So as, as demand rises, the supply will come in time, yeah.